how to make static IP addresses for your NAS. First, we need to log in to our NAS. Then we'll need to find the MAC address. We can find the MAC address at Info Center network here MAC address. We will copy that. We will go to the router and from the main page of the router, which is this one we will go to settings and in my situation it will be called um, home networking and at, in that menu you have a sub menu called static DHCP in some situations it will be called static DHCP reservations uh, it's something in the trends with IP and static in the same name you see two already made static IPs here. This is not the NAS which we are trying to add because this is 71. So it's not already there. We will click the plus icon. So again, in your situation, it can differ. We will say enable. Oh, my bad. I will just place it here for seeing and peaking E898A sometimes you can't paste it it's very irritating if you ask me E898A-F Three one eight one zero one. Three eight nine eight eight F. Three one eight one zero. Let's see if that matches E eight nine A. E eight nine A eight F. Three one eight one zero one eight one zero one. Yes. The IP address is this one, so we'll just copy that, paste it in our album. Or if you can paste it for any reason, you can just remember it. It's enabled. It doesn't have a good name. It's a um, manual, um, manual. Uh, how do you say the manual? You can also see a small list here, but not every router has that, so we just ignore those. In most situations, you have the option on or off. That's this one. And for the rest, this is also universal, and also this is universal. So when you have checked your settings, you will click OK. And then you have made a static IP address for your NAS. And when we see here at our NAS, you can look, it's X. 192.168.1.71 here you have the Mac and it's here at the volume and now the second thing is um, we have bind the IP address now to the router but also you can do it like this if you go to network there is a little bit of a difference but I don't know that on top of my head so don't mind me if I say something misleading here you go to your NAS settings network LAN you can edit it and then you can select use manual configuration I, I like to do both just for better measures it has a little bit of a, a point to it if you do the one way or the other but I know for sure from my lessons from the past from my uh, courses in IT and Cisco networking, it depends, yes, but it's the best practice to do both. That's the only damn uh, sure I can get about it because that's just true. I just don't know now on top of my head which is the whole point of which one. 
because you can choose normally. Like, just do both. That's the best. Use menu configuration in your NAS and do a static IP binding UI. So that's how you set static IP screen NAS. Bye.